My name is Pedro, I'm 27 years old, I'm from Portugal, right across the Atlantic, and I've been here at Columbia University since August of last year. Today I'm going to be finding the area and its uncertainty of this circle. To find that, I'm going to need the radius. And Dr. Pedro, a biology PhD candidate and a medical doctor at Columbia University, is going to help me measure it. Dr. Pedro, who is a medical doctor and a biology PhD candidate at Columbia University, will help Saborno Isaac measure the radius of this circle and find the uncertainty of the circle's area. To find the uncertainty of the area of a circle. Oh, but Saborno, that's complicated. What is it? Well, I'll give you a hint. This is the data that I obtained with the help of Dr. Pedro, a biology PhD candidate and medical doctor at Columbia University. So these are the measurements of the radius of a circle. And now you might say, oh, Saborno, why are you teaching us this? It's so easy. Area equals pi r squared. But it's not that simple, buddy. Let me take you through this. Let's see how this really works. So we've already obtained the data, but now we're gonna have to move on to step one of our process. All right, so what is step one? Well, right now we have four measurements. How, what are we supposed to do, take four areas? Hell no. So, just add them all up. But you realize then that that doesn't really give you anything anywhere close to our original measurement. So, instead, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take the mean. Da, da, da. The mean is just another spooky, scary word for average. So, the average, of course, is going to be x1 plus x2 plus x3. And in this case, it ends at x4 over n, which in this case is 4. So, what is x1? 7.6 x2 is 7.5, x3 is 7.65, but because of sicky figgies, we're gonna have to round it to 7.7, x4 7.6. So let's put that in. And this is all divided by four. All right, so now we're going to use the secret calculator with half of its screen broken. So, this is going to be equal to 7.6 plus 7.5 plus 7.7 plus 7.6, plus 7 which is equivalent to 30.4. Dividing that by 4 gives you uh, 7.6. Oh, no. So, that means this is equal to 7.6. However, we're not done yet, buddy. Because now we're gonna have to move on to dun -dun -dun, step number two. Now, what could step two be? We're gonna find a standard deviation. I know, it's scary. And I don't wanna have to use the calculator. Well, it's actually really simple. You won't have to use this piece of garbage. Because instead, you can just use a manual formula that's much easier to remember than some weird calculator functions. So, we're going to take S in this case. You might also see it written like this weird Greek symbol. And that's equal to the square root of x1 minus x bar squared plus x2 minus x bar squared, plus bada bada bada, and then plus xn minus x bar squared over n minus one. Ta-da! So, 
x1, in this case, 7.6. So 7.6 minus 7.6 is 0. So, I'm going to have to write that as 0. x2 is 7.5 minus x bar is negative 0 0.1. And then you have x3, 7.7. .7. We have to we've had to round it up because of sticky figgies. So sticky figgies. All right. From now it's 7.7. .7. We're going to keep it that way permanently. 7.7 .7 minus 7.6 .7 is 0 0.1. And then finally, you have x4, which is 7.6 .6 minus 7.6 .6 is, well, 0. Over the square root of n minus 1, 4 minus 1 is 3. All right. So now that gets us to negative 0 0.1 squared is 0 0.01. This is also 0 0.01. 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01, which is... How, how could this be possible? It's so hard. 0 0.02. I mean, this couldn't be based off the understanding that 1 plus 1 is 2, could it? The square root of 3. All right. So we've obtained our final answer for the standard deviation. So now, dun, 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 we're going to move on to step number three. Step one was harder. Step two was even harder. So what will step three be? Even harder? Well, let's find out. Well, it's relatively mellow. What do I mean by relatively? It's super hard. I'm just kidding. We're going to be finding the standard error, the standard deviation of the mean, which has this formula, s over the square root of n. So we already know what s is. It's this over the square root of n is 4. is equal to 0 0.5. Zero, how many sig figs? One? No, I have to use two. Okay, 0 0.082. All right. And this is going to be, well, 0 0.082 over the square root of four is <gasps> two. So what is 0 0.082 over two? Well, that's simply 0 0.041. Da, da, da. Okay, I seriously need to start with that. It's fanciful thingy. So, all right. Now, what's the next step? Will it be even easier? No. So, our last and final step is going to be step number four. I think that was pretty obvious. What was it gonna be? Step number five? Step number pi? Step number 3.14159265358? Pretty obvious that it's gonna be step, I'm just kidding, step four, step four. Four, okay, so, sorry for juking you out so many times. This, here, we're going to be doing this. Our area is equal to... Da -da 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 -da. Um, I'm not just going to reveal it to you like that. We're going to have to use an equation. So, turns out, little Billy, you were right all along by saying it was pi r squared. Pi x bar squared. But that's not all. No, no, no. You need to also do this. I'm just factoring out the pi to make sure I don't have to write two pies. How am I going to eat both of them? I'm already full. So, you have pi times x bar plus the standard error squared minus 
x bar minus the standard error squared. If uh, you don't get this, this is essentially pi times the higher limit for r squared minus pi times the lower limit for r squared. <coughs> so we, I just factored out pi because I can't eat two pi's. Oh wait, there are already two pi's! What am I gonna do about this? So, pi x bar is 7.6 squared gives us 57.76, but considering we only have two sig figs there, we're gonna have to use two sig figs here. So we're gonna have 58 pi over there, then plus minus, what is this? Well, x bar plus se would be 7.6 plus 0 0.041, which is 7.641. All right, we're gonna square it. I can't read it because of the glitch. Does that say 58 or 53? I'm gonna have to do the test. Yeah, that says 58. So, uh, that said something like, okay, 58 point Four. That's what I'm gonna round it to. Minus x bar minus se is seven point six minus zero point zero four one, which is gonna be squared fifty seven point one. All right. So that gives us fifty eight pi plus minus fifty eight point four minus. 57.1 is 1.3 pi. All right, so we've got our answer. But if you're not a fancy guy and you don't like these pies, then you can always just multiply 58 by pi to give you 182. And then you can multiply 1.3 by pi to get you four. Most regalities, you 